Roxanne, Roxanne, all she wanna do is party all night. Roxanne. Hi guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. I know you guys are not used to this backdrop behind me, but I just finished filming a slime challenge that's going to be coming out very soon. Today's video is something new again on my channel. I purchased mystery boxes on Etsy and I purchased the worst rated mystery boxes and the best rated and we're going to be comparing the two and seeing what we get in them and as always if you guys are not following me on my social media links i have a snapchat instagram and twitter and i also have a tiktok and a lot of you guys have already followed me on there which is amazing if you guys haven't followed me pause the video check out all my socials and follow me on there and for today's post notification shout out there are three of you guys and the first one goes out to Malak Murad, Meadow Acosta, and Susie Sharon. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications on. If you guys wanna get shout out in my next video, make sure you click the little bell after you subscribe and comment down down below when you've done that. I think that's about it for this intro, so let's just get right into the slime reviews. Woo! Starting off with a lower rated mystery box, we have a package from an Etsy shop that had a three star rating. I purchased a medium mystery box from Bubble Bath Slimes. They provided a business card and a borax, along with java chips, a bunch of lollipops, a packet of Fimo slices, rainbow foam beads, and glitters. The medium box came with one 8-ounce slime and three 2-ounce slimes. Everything was nicely bubble wrapped and labeled. And with shipping, my total came to $21.60, which is a decent price considering all the extras they provided. This first slime is called Dipped Cookie Milk. It was slightly melted when I received it, so I just had to reactivate it. Their containers aren't the most professional looking, but the slime itself looked great, which could maybe factor into their rating. This slime had large marshmallow foam beads, brown foam beads, and java chip pieces in it for added texture. There were also fake chocolate chip sprinkles in the slime to make it look more realistic. It also had a nice, strong cookie-like scent to it, which I really like. This was a nice and thick slime. It's great for poking, and it has some really good bubble pops as well. Next up, we have their two-ounce slime of Spring Enchantment. This slime was super melted, so I had to reactivate it. I thought it was pretty interesting how they gave me a spring theme slime when we're going into winter. It kind of made me think this slime was an old slime they were trying to get rid of, but I could be totally wrong. I still think this slime is really pretty with the star foam pieces in it and the foam beads. The slime was left unscented to preserve the clarity. I really like the color combinations used in this slime and it had some good bubble pops as well. Here we have our second two ounce slime called Granola Cluster. This slime was melted as well, but after I reactivated it, it was perfect. It's a thick white glue based slime filled with rainbow foam beads and rainbow sprinkles. It's a really stretchy slime and it had some great bubble pops from the foam beads. I don't think this slime was scented. If it was, I couldn't really tell what the scent was. And lastly, from their shop, we have Froyo Floam. This slime looks pretty similar to the previous one, but just more foam beads in it. It was another thick slime, but this one was super crunchy from all the foam beads, which I really love. It also kind of had a fruity scent to it, maybe like a grapefruit scent. For $20, you really can't complain about getting a mystery box filled with an eight ounce slime and six ounces of slime if you combine the three smaller ones together. The shop also provided a lot of extras, which was great. Personally, I think they deserve higher than a three-star rating.
switching things up a little bit, we have a five-star mystery box from Slime by Madeline. They provided their business card and borax. They did not provide any extras, which I don't mind, but just surprising coming from a five-star slime shop. But for $20.20, I received three four-ounce containers of slime, which is a really good price, and they were all bubble-wrapped nicely. This first slime is a kiwi fishbowl slime. I love their logo on the containers, but I noticed they did not label the slimes itself. So I had to check out the shop for the names of the slimes. But this is such a pretty clear slime and it's scented just like kiwi, which I am in love with because this slime somehow stayed so clear even after being scented and it's a nice strong kiwi scent. I also love the black glitters in this slime to represent the seeds of the kiwi and there were kiwi phyllo slices in it too. So creative. This slime had a perfect crunchy texture and it was thick right out of the container, which was amazing because I didn't need to activate it or anything. This was definitely a high quality slime. Next up, we have Yummy Gummy Freeze, which is an icy slime. This slime came topped with two gummy bear charms and a pretty glitter. Right when you open the container, you smell the strong gummy bear scent. It smells so good. Their scents are really unique too because this wasn't your typical gummy bear scent that a lot of slimers use for their shops. They have really high quality scents in their slimes. I really like this icy slime texture too. It was really smooth and creamy, yet holdable at the same time. So far, I'm just really impressed with their slimes. And lastly, from their slime shop, we have Honeybee Clear Slime. This is a thick yellow clear slime that had a pretty gold glitter in it as well. It also came with a honey wand, which was so nice. It scented with a light honey scent, which I loved. I didn't have to reactivate this one either. It's a great slime for poking, and it's so clicky being so thick. And it has really good bubble pops too. Honestly, this slime shop deserves five stars. These are really high quality slimes and just for comparison purposes, you can see the difference between a highly rated slime shop and a lower rated slime shop between the two shops I reviewed because the prices were pretty similar, but you can definitely see the quality differences. Next up, we have a package from a lower rated slime shop. This one is from Crunchy Slime Workshop. They have a three star rating. They provided a detailed care sheet, which is really nice. But I mean, you guys can see from these containers that the rating kind of speaks for itself. The containers came in a Ziploc baggie and the first thing I noticed was that most of these slimes were not even filled halfway, which was super disappointing. This is probably equivalent to one ounce of slime or less. I do like the color and the rainbow foam beads added in, but the scent of this was really awful. It smelled like spoiled milk and I just really couldn't stand it. And it had good pops, but honestly, if I were to rate this slime right now, I'd probably give it a two star rating. Next up, we have this bright pink colored slime. I don't even really know what happened here. It just looks like some of the clay separated from the slime, but again, there was hardly any slime in the container. This slime had a pretty thin texture to it. It ripped pretty easily. So far, I'm super disappointed with this slime shop, but we have three more slimes to go, so maybe they can turn it around. Here we have a gray colored slime. Again, same add-ins with the rainbow foam beads. This one had to get reactivated as well because it was melted and sticky and the container was half full again. This slime was unscented like the previous one. It was stretchier than the previous slime, but it still had a pretty thin texture to it. 
let me know in the comments what you guys think of this slime shop i feel like i'm being kind of harsh but i don't know i just don't think that i got what i paid for here we have a light blue colored slime with the same rainbow foam beads half full again and similar in texture to the previous slimes but it kind of felt like a jiggly slime which i'm not really a big fan of this one was actually scented though with a fruity scent which i liked and lastly we have this green colored slime container was half full again and this one was unscented it had a gritty texture to it because they added sand to the slime, which was an interesting choice. I don't think I've ever received a sand textured slime other than like the store-bought slime kits you can buy. And they have sand in there as an added ingredient. In my personal opinion, I would rate this shop a 2 out of 5 or maybe even less. I paid $15.66 for 5 slimes, which was a lot, especially since the containers were barely full and all the slimes were pretty similar. And lastly, we have a mystery box from a 5 star slime shop called Mickey's Monthly Magic. For $16.20, including shipping, I received two 6 ounce mystery slimes, which is an incredible price. The slimes were nicely bubble wrapped and they included their business card, care sheet, borax, and an airhead. Everything just looks so professional. I received a six ounce of birthday celebration and pink party. So here is their pink party slime. Their containers also came nicely labeled. This was a baby pink colored slime that had some glitters in it. There isn't anything super fancy about this one, but the texture is really good and I like the scent of it as well. This slime is great for poking, it's super clicky, and I also love how glossy it was. I really like the texture overall. And lastly, we have Birthday Celebration, which is a micro floam slime. This slime smells just like cake batter and it also has a mix of rainbow foam beads in it and pretty confetti sprinkles. This slime was perfect right out of the container. It's super crunchy and sizzly. This was probably my favorite slime from this video. I love micro foam slimes and this had zero bead fallout which was amazing. This package was similar in price in comparison to the last slime shop and you really just can't even compare the two shops because this package was just out of this world from presentation to the slimes itself. I highly, highly recommend their slime shop. I was super impressed by them. you guys this week thank you so so much for going back to my channel and watching today's video it literally means the world to me when you guys keep watching my videos and i'm always reading the comments i notice each and every one of you so thank you so so much stay tuned for a slime shop restock coming this saturday i'm gonna be having a brand new holiday themed slimes i'm super excited about it christmas time is my favorite and you guys love my holiday boxes so i am pumped about that thank you guys so much for being a member of the k squad and watching till the end of the video i love you all so so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys